Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Helen and this is Stitch Rip Repeat. I'm doing a Friday Sews today and I say this very frequently, but Friday Sews, if you do not already know, is the brainchild of Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room. I will link her channel and anything else I talk about in the description below. And also, if you don't check out any of the other vloggers, please do search hashtag Friday Sews on your YouTube and see all the other wonderful sewers out there and what they've been up to. So I don't tend to do Friday Sews regularly. I would love to. I just find I don't get the time. So usually I end up uploading every couple of weeks or so. And that's definitely the case this time. I uploaded my last one two weeks ago. And so I've got a little bit to catch up on. If you're not aware, Friday Sews is a way to have a weekly diary type vlog from sewers where we can just let you know any sewing, any sewing plans and any sort of life activities that we've been up to and fabric hauls. And I love watching everyone's, as I say, do go check them out. So mine is two weeks and there's a lot of reasons for that. If you're in the UK, you will know that we've had a little bit of a heat wave recently. So this meant one of two things. It meant firstly, I didn't really feel like sewing too much and definitely didn't feel like getting the iron out to press things. And also because it was so nice, I wanted to take advantage of the lovely weather to get out with my family. So I'll pop in a photo of a couple of things we've invested in in the last two weeks, which will hopefully give my children lots of enjoyment over the summer. Firstly, we do live down in Plymouth, so we're by the sea and by lots of water, which meant we thought we'd get good use out of this stand-up paddleboard. So we bought this one, like I say, a couple of weeks ago, and this was when my three youngest and myself took it out for its first little uh, play session on the sea down at a place called Royal Williams Yard here in Plymouth. We are hoping to get a second one but obviously they're they're not cheap so um we will see if we manage to get that anytime soon but yeah we got this one and we're hoping to get lots of use out of it certainly my husband and myself and our three youngest will our 16 year old does not leave, like to leave his room and he definitely doesn't like the water or seaside or anything like that so I don't think he'll be using it at all. <laughs> Secondly, on the same day when I took this out with my younger children, my husband and my eldest child, the one that I just said doesn't like to leave his room, forced out by my husband, who <laughs> went to pick up this trampoline as a surprise, as my 15 year old likes to do gymnastics. And he does a lot of um, spins and twists and various things. And he practiced at his friend's because he had a trampoline. So he's gone on about a trampoline for a while. So my husband and my eldest picked this one up and put it together while I was out with the stand-up paddleboard as a surprise when they got home. So, yeah, that's been really well received. The children absolutely love it and they, they're getting loads of use out of it. So we've been busy with those things. Also, it was the end of school, and so all my children are off for summer now. And for my youngest, it was her last year in primary school. So she's moving into year seven in secondary in September, and she'll be joining two of her older brothers. The eldest brother will be starting at college in September. So it was an exciting week for her, the last week of school, because on the Monday, it was her birthday. So she was turning 11, and so obviously that was busy and exciting and lots of presents and then she had things like um, performances uh, end of year play and they had a picnic and they did the whole um, shirt signing thing I don't know if that's something that all schools do I know a lot of them here in the UK definitely do where they get their school shirt and get all their friends to sign it although my daughter decided that signing a shirt was boring so I'll probably pop in a photo here she uh yeah she got and signed her trainers <laughs> so uh, they look pretty cool so she's happy and at the end of that week they finished the like I say final day of year six with a little celebration from teachers that they do every year for the leavers where they've got a little bridge that they come out of in my child's school and the teachers stand, stand either side of the bridge and as the children come out one by one from year six they clap them and then all the parents are there to see them and record photos and it's really lovely and I went along and saw her on Friday coming out of school and yeah so it's been busy 
and we've had lots of family time and I'm hoping over the next five weeks of the holiday we'll have lots more time on the uh, on the paddleboard and out and about. So it did mean not a lot of sewings got done. Now I did have my Tuesday social sewing last Tuesday and that was it now for the summer and I took along two projects to cut out because again it was very hot, did not feel like sewing. I did make both those and so I will be talking about them in the video and hopefully showing you photos. So that was very exciting that I managed to actually cut something out and I've sewn them up because I'm normally not that organised. <laughs> and I've also had some Instagram giveaways that I entered where I won and I've received the prizes. So I've got two of those to show you as well as my two makes. I have, of course, always have a little fabric haul to show you. And finally, I might just quickly pop in my um, items from my Think Pink box, which arrived from Andrea in Beyond the Pink Door. I know there's been lots of unboxings, so it won't be a real unboxing, but I'll just, if you're interested, I will show you that at the end of the video as well. So the things that I cut out, well, firstly, you may have guessed, or so if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen, I cut out this saguaro top. So in my last video, I had the green one and I have made this blue sort of tie dye with star one. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I made this from a unloved make that I made. I can't remember if it was last summer or the summer before. And that was a Tilly in the Button sky dress. And I'm not sure, I know I've got a collage photo of it. I'm not sure if I've got individual photos. I will pop whatever I've got up here for you. Yeah, I made it. And unfortunately, the um, sort of empire line and then the long skirt made me personally feel that it looked very frumpy and sort of maternity-like. And my maternity days are way past now um and so i didn't really like it so i found i wasn't reaching for it much and yet i love this fabric so i thought that i would upcycle it and i made this saguaro top now i think i've mentioned when i made the green one the alterations i made so only a couple firstly i've stitched it up um, so it doesn't gape so much at the front. I've also done the crossover of the front. Uh, it gives you notches where to put them and I've moved those across by about an inch so I've got more of a crossover as well. And lastly I drop the length of the actual top by an inch and so it's a little bit lower. I'm, I'm, not, um, I'm not keen to stand up to show you because I've got a gap between the top and the jeans but I will show you look quickly there so it doesn't show as much of the skin these are high-rise jeans as well so I've lowered it by about an inch yeah. so I like it I do like that style the elastic I think I've mentioned before and I know that Tamlin mentioned it I do not go by the measurement in their book because the measurement for my size which was a medium is not in any way, shape or form going to make it around me. So I just put it around and uh, safety pin it where it feels comfortable. Try it on and then stitch it up. So yeah, I do love the Saguaro. I've seen so, so many people making them and I absolutely love them. I have plans to hack and I've seen a couple of people. One of them I'll have to put the details below because I cannot remember, but there was a fantastic blog by a lady who made the top into a um, a proper tie top. So it had proper sort of big ties that you tie in the middle. And I absolutely love that. So I'm planning on trying that. And the wonderful Alison at So Like Dotty, she's fantastic at hacking things. And she actually put on Instagram the other day, one of the hacks she's done, because she's done more than one. And it was something I've been thinking of doing. So it was really fantastic to see it already done by someone and how brilliant it looks and it was just because she didn't like the idea of this um because it is quite low cut at the front she basically and i as i say i was planning on doing this so it was really really great to see that it works cut two backs because you can wear this reversible with the back um as the front as i've done with my green one in the past and then obviously use that as the front and the back so she's got it across here and across there and 
I'd wanted to do it and I hadn't done it yet, but now that I've seen how wonderful it looked on Alison, I will be trying that. So hopefully I'm going to be doing the big tie one and also I'm going to be doing the version with both being both the front and the back being the back pattern, if that makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, loads more soirees in the future. Note, I have to say, I have still not made the trousers, even though I specifically bought the black fabric that I showed you in a recent video to make them. Still haven't done them, need to get on with that. So this is the first thing that I cut out and then made in the last couple of weeks. And then the other thing was the saltwater slip by Frater. by Friday Pattern Company and I bought this one specifically because I've seen a few people making it but the main reason was the lovely Rachel from Stitched Up who does a sew along live uh, tries to do it every month and this month's was the saltwater slip dress and I was hoping to join in however the Saturday evening that she did it was the Saturday that I talked about where we'd been out paddleboarding and we had a trampoline by the time we'd finished um, on the paddleboard, got home, got excited and the kids had messed around on the trampoline. I did manage to catch up with the live by just turning it on and listening to people about an hour after it started, I think, but I was in no way ready to sew up my dress. However, I have finished it recently and the weather's been quite nice the last few days. So I hopefully will pop in some photos of it here. I cannot remember where I got the fabric. Shell from So Affordable Fabric sold me one of the flowery ones that I was choosing from on Instagram and I can't remember if it was this one or the other one so I do apologise but I've had this fabric for quite a while and I think it looks really stunning in this salt water slip. I do need to get myself a strapless bra because um, those straps are really tiny and I don't have anything appropriate and I'm at my age, I am not going braless. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely love the dress. It's so light and airy. I love the slits at the side and the sort of lightness of it. And it, yeah, brilliant for the heat. And also I've seen people wearing it with t-shirts underneath. And also a few people suggest the new, I want to say it's Elysian, um, that I also bought, which I think is again from Friday Pattern Company. I bought that pattern and it's a long sleeve bodysuit. So I'm thinking t-shirts and, and Agnes tops even from Tilly and the Buttons, anything like that during autumn time will also be nice under this dress. So I did manage to make two things. So I don't feel too bad about the last couple of weeks because I've managed to enjoy family life and enjoy sewing as well. So as I said, I won a couple of giveaways on Instagram recently, which is always very exciting. I do enter like so many of them, pretty much any that anybody does, I enter them. And I was very excited to get the notifications I'd won these. And I thought I would wait until I got both the prizes to share with you lovely guys. So the first one is, and it's from the Craft Cotton Company. And Jess and the team sent me a lovely little congratulations compliment slip with my prize. And it's very exciting because it is a range of fabric that is not actually going to be available until August. So obviously that's Monday now, but I got this about well, nearly a week ago. And so I'm the first person apparently in the country to get this fabric. Now, if I was a speedy sewer, I'd have got it made up and put it on Instagram so that I could really show off that I'm the only one with it. But I'm not that fast, as you know. So it came as a fabric bundle from Craft Cotton Company and also a £25 voucher for Simplicity and Simplicity Vintage Goods at Sew Direct. So I will show you the fabric first. So I got a bunch of fat quarters of the fabrics here and I haven't undone them. Look, you can see brand new and I'll just show you them, really lovely. So the first one in the fat quarters, as I say, brand new fabrics from August this year is this fantastic one with these lovely ladies in their sort of bikini tops and things. And it's on like a cream background. And then there's a really cute stripy one here with them in their vintage outfits as well. 
and I like that it's multi-directional so you can use that for anything. There's a lovely lemony yellow one with their ladies and their outfits on and that one's not multi-directional. <laughs> there, aren't they cute? And then lastly there is this blue dotty one with the ladies on and it also says shine on the fabric. So yeah I got that fabulous fat quarter bundle but the most exciting thing in the fabric price was this two meters of the at the beach fabric and it's really lovely and soft. I haven't washed it yet but I absolutely love it and it's the cream one that says relax and look at that. It's got all these ladies in their gorgeous outfits. Look at those vintage outfits they look so stylish absolutely love this and i did say to the lovely jess at craft cotton company i am thinking currently a gilbert shirt by is it helen's closet i think um i think a gilbert shirt would look really nice in that um or possibly a rosa shirt from tilly and the buttons but yeah that was very exciting and the second part of the prize, as I say, was £25 with Simplicity and Simplicity Vintage Goods at So Direct. And the first thing I didn't even have to think about was a pattern I've looked at for a while, really wanted to get. So that was one of the first things I got. And it is Simplicity S9110. And it is this pull-on skirt or cropped pants. Absolutely love that. I would love to recreate that. I think the fabric and the contrast around the pockets is absolutely gorgeous. But it's also got, as you can see, a skirt option and it's got patch pockets or these deep pockets. So, yeah, I was really pleased because I have looked at that one before and then not got it. So that was the first thing I bought. And then I just treated myself to this really cute little purse pouch by simplicity vintage goods um not 100 percent sure what i'm going to put in it but i absolutely love it it's gorgeous this one which i'm very excited about and it's in i've just realized very noisy wrapping so i do apologize i'm gonna probably skip and go straight to it being open again a bit like the purse i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm going to use this for but i do love storage and i love sewing related storage look at this gorgeous simplicity box and it's actually, and it's got these little dots all over it and it's gold on the bottom. It's actually the right size when you open it up for their patterns. Look at that. I mean, obviously, <laughs> I'm never going to fit my patterns in there because I've got far too many. However, I do love that. I'm going to keep that one in there for now. And if I can dig out, I think I've got other simplicity patterns. I will pop them in there as well. So... All of that was from the lovely ladies at Craft Cotton Company. So that was very exciting. But no, it didn't stop there. I was waiting for that prize to come through when I got a message from the lovely Julie, or was it Julia? I think it was Julia, at the Denim Company. And again, as with everything else, I will link them below so you can check them out to say that I'd won their giveaway. And I was equally, if not more excited about this one. And I haven't properly opened it because when it came, it came in this box and I thought, well, I'll, you know, I double check. But it's so lovely packaging that I wanted to share with you before I open for good. So inside the box, it is wrapped in some of their gorgeous denim fabric. Isn't that beautiful? And I am very excited about this. And as you can see, oh, I haven't opened it yet. And I, I just love the way they have wrapped it. And I think I'm going to YouTube how to do this fabric wrapping because I want to send presents like this in the future. I mean, it's not like I'm short on fabric, so <laughs> I can easily do these. So I'm going to open this up and show you what my prize was. I just want to say, now that I've unwrapped it, <laughs> there was actually a really decent amount um, of this fabric. Look how beautiful that is. So I'm definitely going to find a use for that. So that's exciting just on its own. But this, look what I have won. I'm so excited. I have looked at these numerous times, but it's over £100. And I just thought, uh, you know, 
I can't really <laughs> justify that kind of money. But it is a bias tape maker. And I've had a quick look at the video to see how it works. And it's brilliant. Absolutely love it. It has got all these different size as well. So you can do right down to really thin bias tape. And I don't know about you, but I do like a bit like on here to make my own bias tape. But I do not like constantly burning my finger with the iron or having it not fold quite right. And yeah, if I can have something like this to do it for me, why wouldn't I? So yeah, very, very excited to try this out. Very excited to get cracking with the Gilbert shirt and to think of something to use the fat quarters for as well. So moral of the story, be like me, enter all of them where the prizes are something you would like because you never know. <laughs> so last couple of things I'm gonna show you is some more fabrics, of course. And then also a little peek at what came in my Think Pink number six box from Beyond Pink Doll. So this is what came in the post this week. And it is all from the lovely Fabric Heaven on Facebook, who you'll have seen me mention recently. Oh, look, sneaky peek. Absolutely love their fabrics. They get some really, really bright, colourful fabrics and I can't resist. This was not so bright and colourful, but it's definitely me. And this is a cotton, it's a lightweight cotton. I'm not really sure. It could be like a cotton lawn. But as you can see, it's this gorgeous navy blue with these blue circular sort of flower patterns on. <laughs> I am thinking currently of overalls or dungarees in this, maybe even a Zadie jumpsuit. But yeah, I got myself three metres of this. And you know me in blue. I mean, look on my earrings and my top. I love blue. <laughs> so I got three metres of that one. I'm pretty sure I got three metres of this one as well. This is a soft, like a lightweight linen type fabric. It's not linen, but it feels a bit like it. And it is this absolutely gorgeous flowers in the black outline, but with those splats of colour all over the fabric. And I, yeah, I know, I just loved it. I do love colour. I'm a bit like Ruan from the Orchard So Girl. Cannot resist a little bit of colour. And again, I got three metres of this because I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to make with it yet. I think I might have got three metres. No, I think I got two metres of this one. This one I had to pre-order because you have to be very quick when she puts her fabrics on because she does them nightly and she only usually has sort of between three and 10 or 12 meters of each print. So they go very quickly. And I missed this one, but I mentioned on there that I would love it. And she said she'd put me down for a pre-order for next time. And I think I've got two meters of this. This is like a lightweight cotton, a bit like um, a bit like a cotton lawn. And it is this gorgeous red and pinks with the hearts all over. I mean, it's just so beautiful. And again, bright colors. I mean, Bright colours make me happy. That's all I can say. <laughs> so that's why I buy them. And then lastly, this one's a little bit out of my comfort zone. I'm not sure if I'm going to make clothes or whether I'm going to make something for my daughter's room because yellow is her favourite colour. And a bit like me, she's not sure if she'd wear something made of this, but she would like something of this. So something in her room, maybe. And it is this. Again, it's a very lightweight cotton, but it's got these amazing masks all over it with that bright yellow background. Now, I would think that um, a gentleman who likes to wear loud shirts would love this for like a holiday um, barbecue type shirt. My husband's not one of those, so he definitely would not be wearing this. And I'm not convinced I would either. But yeah, like I say, maybe some cushions for my daughter's room. She even thought about maybe a wall hanging for her room. So I would have to have a think. And if you have any ideas, of course, please do let me know what I can do with this. So yeah, I got some gorgeous fabrics. And then yesterday, my Think Pink box arrived. As I say, I am not going to do a proper unboxing because there's quite a few out there. Just search Think Pink and you'll find them. I know Ruan, Adele, Rachel from Stitched Up, they've all done unboxings. So yeah, 
and this what I love about this one is uh, the gifts are slightly different and the fabric comes in four colorways. So um, I will show you. So that's how it comes. Nicely wrapped in tissue paper. And then you have, if you haven't got this box or heard of it before, you get a um, QR code which goes straight to a video from Andrea, which is specifically for people who subscribe. And then like other sewing subscriptions, you get fabrics and you get goodies. And like I say, I'm just going to run quickly through, but I do absolutely love everything in it. One of the things you got this month was these fab self cover buttons. And I am really looking forward to trying those because I've never used self covered buttons. And some of the fabric that I use, especially this one you'll see in the box, I think would benefit. These are metal, so they're really good quality. There's a really fantastic zip. This is an invisible zip, but it's like um, it's like a nylon. So um, it would really be invisible against any fabric. So you don't really need to colour coordinate with this. And it's got a lovely metal tab um, pull on the top. And it's quite long as well. It is 22 inches. So I'm really excited to try that out because I think it's lovely. There is a gift which <laughs> I saw Ruan's. After I'd opened my box, I went and saw Ruan's opening. But it was hilarious because... If you don't check out Ruan on the Yorkshire So Girl, firstly, why on earth not? Where have you been? Secondly, go and check her out. She's fab. I love Ruan. Ruan did make me chuckle because this gift, she got one in Kristen's box that she does from the Dahlia Society and she'd never seen one before and she was so excited. And then <laughs> a day later, the same thing came in Andrea's box. So now Ruan has two and it's one of those things where you've never heard of something and then suddenly... They're popping up everywhere. I have one of these that I got in a sewing advent calendar from a lovely friend of mine a few years ago. I think it's, um, I think it might be a hemline make or whatever, but this one's lovely. They've put on a little Beyond the Pink Door sticker on it. And of course it looks a little bit like a lipstick, but when you open it, it is actually a little pin cushion for your pins and needles. So you can take them on the go with you. And this one, I don't know if you can see in in this video but it's like a it's like a pink on the inside as well so it goes really well with um beyond the pink door so that was lovely um and like i say made me chuckle <laughs> when ruan opened hers the gift i absolutely love this month it's not sewing related um it is from a lady in ireland because andrea likes support small businesses and i think she's just a young girl at school still who makes these and I love this if you watch me for a while you will no doubt have seen that I do love earrings since I got my ears re-pierced recently and these are gorgeous handmade little heart earrings I don't know how well there you go look at those they are so so cute and I cannot wait to wear those and I think that's such a lovely touch and there's a little discount code for us to use so that was really lovely i have this thread which you'll know will get me excited because blue is my favorite color and now i can show you the postcard first i'll show you the back which says never let your lipstick or your bobbin run out <laughs> so so true and then the four colorways on that think pink box six are all in that lovely postcard and i would have been happy with absolutely any of them I think they are stunning and the dresses that Andrea's made in them are beautiful but this has got to be my favourite so I'm really really chuffed and I really really want some ideas from you guys of what I could make. There is two and a half metres I believe it's the softest viscose ever and just look at that I mean that print is just to die for I'm not a ditzy flower person normally but I have to say these blues whites and sort of oranges are just gorgeous and yeah I'm gonna have to make me a dress with this beautiful fabric and something with buttons I think so that I can use some covered buttons so very exciting fabrics and deliveries for me in the last couple of weeks. Hope you've all been having a wonderful few weeks and been able to do something sewing related. And if you're in the UK, being able to enjoy the weather we've been having. 
maybe the slightly cooler days and not the record breaking ones we've had. <laughs> I will hopefully have a video soon. I think I've mentioned a few times that I am working on the patchwork jacket from the Great British Sewing Bee. I did grind to a halt because obviously when you get to nearly 40 degrees heat, a quilted jacket is not something I want. So I've got as far as the binding, which is literally the last bit and I've popped it away in a bag, but hopefully I will be digging that out finishing the make, finishing the video and getting that up here soon. And also I'm trying to keep up with my Friday sews throughout the summer. So I do hope you've enjoyed. As usual, I would love it if you could pop me a little thumbs up and a comment. Again, I do love reading all your comments and I try to answer back as quickly as I can, although I'm a bit behind, so I do apologise. Um, I love seeing and reading all your comments. Please do subscribe if you are not yet subscribed check out the description box for anything I've talked about today and I will see you all in my next video. Mm -hmm.